Walt Disney Animation. The girl, Walt, it's all right. Perch it up there. Just perch it up and let him see it. She is the talented director and writer of Walt Disney Animation Studios' upcoming Disney Plus Tiana series. Yes, which continues Tiana's adventures and brings us into the journey to her finding her happily ever after. Please welcome B. Joyce Cherie. But not least, the three creative leads who brought the new Disney Parks attraction, Tiana's Bayou Adventure to Life. Now it's open at Walt Disney World right now, by the way. Meet, yes, meet Imagineers, Carmen Smith, Sharita Carter, and Ted Robledo. Yes. And you know what, I'm gonna need y'all to give it up for the more for these Imagineers, because we don't have half the stuff we love without Imagineers. People have asked me that over the years, but I was um, I was responding to people on Instagram yesterday, and I put up a post about um, some things that I did uh, yesterday, and um, someone commented, "The People's Princess." Mm. Mm. And I was very, very yes. moved. Yes. 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 <laughs> because she is regal. She is otherworldly, but she is also very much planted on the ground yes. and very real and open and honest. And and she's she has flaws and she's not afraid of standing in who she is. And I and I love that. I, I, it's so moving to me yeah. the way people connect to her and and the way people open that up to me. Yeah, is um, I want you to know all of you how honored. That makes me uh -oh, girl, don't you make me cry because I got this lash on. I don't want to lose this lash. So do it. It is truly, truly such an honor. Cool. The way you all right open. You right <laughs> open your hearts and open your spirits. It's, um, it's a beautiful thing and it's not what I anticipated doing the movie. That's never what you anticipate, and it's never what you're really right. looking for. You just want to do your work and do yeah. the role. So for her to still have that connection, and for you all to still have that connection to her, and therefore to me, is uh, is absolutely remarkable to me. And I thank you. I truly thank you. I'm going to take this uh, as a totally personal privilege. The heart of this moment is what you're seeing here. Like, don't you did listen, don't do it to me. <laughs> she is at her core, decent and loving and strong. Everything that you love about Tiana is in this woman. And if you are blessed to call her friend, you are blessed indeed. So I want to make sure I give you those flowers. You know I'm great. Now, we are here to talk about how Disney is expanding Tiana's legacy. By Straight. 
was very important to me that her hair and mouth was straight. Um, because we spent so much time, we black women, brown women, anybody with curly hair, which is not considered the norm, although most of the world has curls, um, we spend so much time trying to transform into something else, and it's damaging. It's damaging to your psyche, it's damaging to your actual hair, your physical hair, and now we know that relaxers can actually cause cancer, so it's damaging. We talked about that a lot, and there was also a lot of conversation outside of the movie about how it wasn't going to translate other places, about how it wasn't going to stretch past America. There was you know, so much talk about, oh, we don't know. Oh, we were, we were gonna do us. we did a screening in Ireland. And, oh, we don't know how it's gonna play there. We don't know. Listen, the Irish were about Princess Tiana. <laughs> <laughs> so to see this, and to see these little girls embracing themselves and all of their curls and living in their glory, y'all, y'all, this y'all. is, this is She's my favorite princess because she was the first princess that looked like me, right? So we all want to see ourselves up there. But this is what blew my mind. I walked the floor of D23 yesterday, and I saw a lot of Princess Tianas that looked nothing like me. Little blind girls, little redhead girls, tall girls. It was every type of the rainbow. And I the people's, the people's princess. princess. That just that is putting out a call, first of all, that Tiana is having a party. Tiana's food has been very successful, and it's Mardi Gras season. So Tiana and Naveen are throwing a party, and absolutely everybody is invited. So you will hear um, that reminder from the radio host, but he will also, at Tiana's request, put out a clarion call that we are looking for volunteers to go with Tiana and Lewis to find a band. Lewis had one job, but that was to get a band for the party. <laughs> you cannot have a party in New Orleans without a band. So we have invited all of you as guests to be volunteers to go out into the bayou with us to find a band. With that, I'm going to kick it over to Ted, who's going to tell you a little bit about what you're going to be experiencing once you get on the intro. Oh, I'm so excited to tell us, Ted. <laughs> so, after, you know, when we, we heed that call and we, we join Tiana and Lewis on this adventure, uh, we're going to get on our boats and we're going to be passing through this beautiful, lush lagoon of the bayou. It's going to be filled with plants and trees and flowers that you can find in the bayou. And we're going to join Tiana, as I said, and Lewis, and we're going to go down river searching for that essential missing ingredient for the party. As Sharita said, musicians. <laughs> so along the way, we're going to meet different bands of critters, and they're going to be sharing their diverse musical sounds in New Orleans. So for those of you who don't know, musical history in New Orleans is deep. It comes from around the world, and it all somehow gathered in this one place that we know today. And so they're going to be playing songs from the film, but they're all with their own little twist to it, you know, their own little rendition of it. And so, with the help of Mama Odie, let's go. She's going to bring her brand of original magic, and we're going to dig a little deeper in the bayou to find all the musicians we're looking for. And, spoiler alert, as she shrinks us down to the size of a frog for a new perspective of the bayou, we're going to find those last group of musicians. So, as the talent search concludes, it's Mama Odie who makes us big again. Uh, and for the, uh, for the joyful, beautiful, amazing Mardi Gras celebration at, at Tiana's home, at the home of Princess Tiana and, and Prince Naveen, we're going to hear this amazing, amazing new song. We're going to be celebrating us, the guests, along with all the new friends that we've, we've met, uh, as well as Princess Tiana, and it's this amazing, amazing place. I hope you guys love it as much as we love creating it, all those beautiful people over here to my right. Um, it's something special, um, and I can't wait for you guys to, to be there with us later this year to experience it. Yeah. That was amazing. Totally amazing. That's 
making and that's Disney magic. Colorful, fun, immersive. It brought me a sense of community and family. All for the one with family. You're gonna be smiling like a little kid the whole time like I am. Tiana's by far my favorite princess. Tiana! When we go into the bayou, we see that Lucas animatronic for the first time, and it's just so like pretty. You see all the fireflies. Another added piece of magic. magic. Animatronic, just everything that the Imagineers put into it. People who look like me, for little girls and boys who look just like me, to have a character here that they can relate to, it's so great to have um, representation in the parks. The beignets. We get to the beignets. It's like yeah. a smelling yeah. beignet. The, the, the smell, the atmosphere that goes. Yeah, you want a beignet when you get off. They reimagined a new song for this ride, and I'm super obsessed with it. The song Special Spice was incredible. I've been listening to it like all week, and we thought it was over, but it was hard to come, even after. The next thing you know, it's a huge New Orleans style party with Tiana and the gang. It's amazing. It was really fun. I loved it. It's awesome. It was really fun. We're excited to ride it here. is a princess with Disney Publishing, and it will be out fall of 2026. Yeah. It is something that is very close to me. I've been actually working on it for years, just been percolating in my mind. I've been writing on envelopes and putting it in the phone and just receipts and things, and then I'd lose it and have to start over. Uh, but it's really just an ode to all of the wonderful people and children and people who aren't children. Uh, but are young at heart, and reminding them that a princess can do, look, feel, be like anything. Yeah. There is no template to being a princess. It is open to how you feel and how you express yourself. Because yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know why. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fun. I had to say, I'd say Evangeline. I've got a star on my shoulder. Hey. She's like a, the inspiration. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so my, my favorite changes every day, but for today, it's Lewis. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it's got to be Eudora, because I know everyone out here can relate to, you know, wanting to make your mom proud. So I love that it, towards the end of the movie, you know, even Tiana checks in with her mom. Okay. Favorite line or lyric from the film? Anybody can jump in. Almost there. Mm. And we are. And we are. November 15th. November 15th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Favorite line or lyric from the film? Anybody else? Oh, it's, well. You don't have to all get it. Tiana's bio adventure. It's going to be good. <laughs> I like when um, uh, Princess Tiana, she wasn't a princess yet, but when she made the comment, I am not going to kiss the frog. Because I have to tell you, before I started this attraction, I didn't like frogs, but I have now <laughs> found an appreciation for frogs. Love it. Here's a quick one. Beignets, filled or plain? Plain. 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 <laughs> Audience seems to be with plain, too. Um, what was the best thing um, you ate while on your research trips to New Orleans? All things. All Everything. <laughs> All the things. Anyone else? Yes, no, it's all things you cannot yeah, no. find bad food in New Orleans. I mean, yeah. you would really it's have true. to it's really, 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 really work, work on that. Work. Uh, who would you rather kiss, Naveen as a frog or Lewis? That's a tough one. Uh, uh, I say Lewis. <laughs> so, uh, we have a kinship as musicians, so Lewis all the way. Maybe on the cheek, Lewis. <laughs> I'll do Naveen as a frog, even with the mucus. Yeah. <laughs> That makes me feel so much better today. <laughs> okay, most fun you've had working on the show or while bringing the, the ride to life? Which one? I have to say, get wet. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay with it now. 
<laughs> After a hundred times on the ride, I'm, I'm good. Anybody else? I was going to say, just the best part of this whole process has been we have a team of people who have come together in unity, harmony, and passion. Come on. And working day in and day out with that common vision and bringing this attraction to life has been the big, my favorite part of this process. Love it. Yeah. And I just want to piggyback on that. They are still working. And you know, these, common, these folks literally, as we speak, they're working today to make this dream come true. So All thank right. you to them. Yeah, one more. This is the last one. <clears throat> Best new character for us to watch out for, and can it be played by me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write who wrote that. Who wrote that? So my I question yes. is, your question, she got a cousin or something, somebody? We look alike. Okay, all right. We'll move on. Okay. So sadly, our time together has is almost done. So we're almost there. You see, what I do? okay, all right. Um, I want to thank these fabulous panelists um, for pulling the curtain back to, so we can see what it's like to bring Tiana's story to life in a myriad of ways to the delight of Tiana fans everywhere. And that dog on fly that's been here all the time. <laughs> I want to thank you, Ted, Sharita, Carmen, and Joyce. clean up some of this because we got something special for you. We talked about music. We talked about how I'm helping. I talked about it, how it was central <laughs> to Tiana's story and how it helps set a tone for time and place. So Disney legend Anika <laughs> is going to send us home with a special performance from the original film taking us down in New Orleans. Sing. <laughs> This don't go as a plane. <laughs> I better not see it on YouTube. <laughs>
glad that you all are here. It makes such a difference in my life to see you all's faces.